Today we are going to create this dynamic motion blur photo effect with Affinity Photo. Hey guys, I'm Dave back with another Affinity Photo tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this dynamic thriller look motion blur photo effect in Affinity Photo. Like always, first select your image, and make 3 copies of it by Ctrl J thrice time. For now, make it easy, rename it. 1, 2, 3. For now, hide 1 and 2 layer and activate number 3 image layer. Go to Live Filters, Motion Blur, check Preserve Alpha and increase Radius. Feel free and check it according to your image. Here I am keeping for 3% for now. We can always increase or decrease it at any time. Now hide present layer number 3 and activate number 2 image layer and do it same. Use motion blur. Using same 40% radius. Now while number 2 image layer is activated, take move tool and move it right side like this. Activate number 3 image layer, do it same but move it left side this time like this. Select number 2 image layer and change blend mode to lighten. Again move it, adjust it position of both 2 and 3 image layer. Now activate top layer number 1 image and change blend mode to lighten. Again go to live filter, motion blur. And this time make radius 25%. Select motion blur effect only and take paintbrush, hardness 0, opacity 50%. Foreground color black and reveal image, eyes, nose and some part. Now if you need to increase or decrease motion blur effect, just click on the effect and here increase or decrease it again. I want to increase just a little bit, 40% to 
whatever the motion blur radius you like to take just keep it mind make all radius as a same percentage now if you need to adjust second and third image layer move it right or left and adjust it with number one image layer eyes to eyes lips to lips like this when you are happy with it select all layers Ctrl G put it in a group folder right click merge visible as make it in one layer now go to above left tone mapping persona and here I am going to use filter preset of affinity font feel free and check it one by one on which effect preset you like This one looking good. Ok, I am going to use this one. Crazy preset, drop down. I love mode lighting which gives image more darker and sharpness. Now adding some text but don't skip. Here you can find another unique typography style with motion blur. Type your text. Make a copy of it. Hide first one, select second one, go to above, filters, blur, motion blur. Keep radius around 6 to 8 percent. Now activate above text, take move tool and just a little bit move it right or left way. Make opacity 50%. See, this is looking good, right? You can find this type of text or title on a Hollywood thriller movie poster. Now this is an option, here I am going to use my plugins. But if you do not have plugins, don't worry, you can use filters, sharpen, unsharp mask and increase more sharpness of the image. And that's it, this is my final output. I hope you find this video helpful. If you like my work with Affinity Photo, then subscribe this Affinity Vibe YouTube channel to get more amazing Affinity Photo effect tutorials. You can support me on my Instagram account, link in video description. And also you can check out the other amazing videos just waiting for you in this channel playlist. Thanks for watching and I will back with another video soon. Till then, keep practicing because practice makes us perfect and have fun with Affinity Potter.